Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Her Apartment. Uh, apparently we're taking care of a neighbor's uh, apartment for her while she's away. Um, that's pretty much all I know. A cutscene. Cool. Alright. Are that? you ready for the best prices? Sure. Let's go. When you right. order this mower within one minute, oh, you yeah. will get two more for absolutely free. This offer is only for a limited time. Don't hesitate to call now. I'll take four. Turn around and make a little bit of profit, sell them online. Oh. Okay, pause, movement. Okay, it's a little quick. That's better. Where is my phone? Okay. Okay. Started by a door. Hello? Hey, Ray. It's Margaret. Sorry for calling so late, but I'm going out of state for a week. Could you please take care of my cat, water the flowers, and occasionally pick up my mail? I would really appreciate it. Sure, why not? What are neighbors for? Oh, hello, Mrs. Olson. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. I don't like the way I said that. Great, thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? Okay. I'll be there in a minute. She's the best neighbor a person could ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. Number two. All right. So this is this Ashley or Mary Kay or whatever it is. Excuse me. <clears throat> What's over here, though? Oh, my bathroom. Turn the lights on. Oh, I like it. Hey, you turn the lights on. Aw. You know me. I like to try to pee every time I can find a toilet. Alright, is this my front door? God. Man, okay. I'm getting jump scared by the door. Oh, I can't go up. Okay. That crack's probably fine. Stop searching, start living. Trailer for rent. Alright. Looks familiar. Anyway. $71 per night? Well, I guess for a trailer. It's not too bad, actually. What am I thinking? Do not knock ring. But. Doorknob? I don't know. That's weird. Number two. All right. We go down. Oh, we can go down. Stock up on your basic food staples. You hungry? No, I just ate. Thank you. Oh, I'm outside. Oh, cool. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Ooh, dollar sign. All right. Anyway. R.I.P. That's a good thing for me to see right off the bat. I'm going to go visit an old lady. All right, let's go visit the old lady. Mrs. Olsen. Don't need a knock, just walk in. Are you dead? Around your place. All right. Acid. Good. Your bedroom. Nice. nice. Bed? No, oh, get in it. I don't know why I would want to try, but I did try, nonetheless. Her apartment is so much nicer than mine. Same kind of layout. Hey, Mrs. Olson. Wow, looking good, Ray. You're a charming man. What kind of visit is this? Thank you, Mrs. Olson. What should I do first? This could go so many different ways. At the end of the hall is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. Okay, sure. Watering can, end of the hall in the junk room. We just call it a closet. I have junk drawers. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Sure. Uh, 
Oh yeah, smash it. Okay. Last two plants are in the bedroom. I'll wait for you here. He's only on the bed. Easy enough. Where the hell? All right, I think we're going to feed the cat now. Can I put this back. No, I, I just keep this. This is mine. Oh god. I usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in the evening, just give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. Okay. Cool. Please tell me you eat other foods. Oh, at least you have bananas. Meow food. Bird? Bird? Whatever. Uh, can opener. Or do I just dump it in? Like, is it already open? It's already open. Where? Oh. Oh, can you get? Now what? No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys, plus fifty dollars. Appreciate your help. Let's not do bad fifty bucks. Just to Thanks feed the cat and water some plants. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. Yeah, you got it, lady. Just in case, I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. Take care and good night. All right, go back to my car and go to sleep. All right, now, one question, though, I'm excuse me, cat. Um, why would you want to water your plants every day? That's you're just going to root rot. <laughs> hey, home sweet home. Oh, I have pictures. I don't know what I'm looking at. That picture gets weirder the longer I'm looking at it. I don't know, it's starting to give me a headache. That's strange. Okay, let's go to bed. Is she strictly above me, by the way? Yeah. No, because... She'd be below me. Yeah. Two, duh. Um, I'm finally home from work. First, I'll pick up the mail for Mrs. Olsen and me. Okay. Five, two, seven, nine. I wonder if that's important. Sort of code. Where is oh? Uh, Olson. Some letter. I'll leave it in her apartment. Golden Years Travel Agency. All right. And mine is apartment four. Fear in town. Yes, I am. How you doing? Hi guys. Anyway, authorities search for escaped psychiatric patient. Escape. In a chilling turn of events, the quiet town of Jewelis, Jewelis? whatever, has been thrown into a state of shock and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the Jewelis psychiatric asylum. The man identified as 65 year old Mason Harold Whitmore. Can we play a game where there's a Whitmore? This is the library, I think. Anyway, um, evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach. Okay. Meeting on high alert, we are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitmore and said police chief Margaret Ellis in a press conference held earlier today. We ask the community to stay calm but alert. Do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Descriptions of Whitmore have been widely circulated. He is 65 years old, stands approximately 5'10 tall with a slender build and gray hair. She is the neighbor upstairs, isn't she? Or he, pretending to be she. That's pretty wild. How does someone even escape from there? How do they find him before he get, things get worse? Fine, let's water her plants and feed the cat. Alright. Because, you know, that could possibly be her. Alright, water. Where is the water can? Oh, it's still in the hallway. See this open because I can come back in here anyway. Water, excuse me, water the plant, 
plants, feed kitty. Thank you again. Anytime. All right, uh, let's just do the cat runs right here. Oh, okay, I gotta do an order. Smash that E. Smash that I like button. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Do more. Maybe our apartment is really dry. I mean, that dirt looks very dry. There you go. I'm gonna feed Kitty. All right, uh, we don't need this open anymore. Go. All right, Kitty Cat. Oh. oh, I just ate a raw steak out of her fridge. Oh, it's a popsicle. Is that a puddle of blood? There you go. Done for the day. Now I can go to my apartment and get some sleep. Oh, hang on. There you go. Should I get the light on for the cat? Nah, it's fine. Maybe the hallway. There you go. I think I forgot to turn off. Oh, okay. I got. I got to turn off the light. All right. Here was trying to be nice to the cat. Alright, I'm just making sure there's nobody in my apartment. And I'm not hungry because I just ate a steak out of my uh, neighbor's fridge. Alright. Get some sleep. What's the sound? Another day, another mail collection. Alright. What have we got for Olsen? Uh, ooh. This. Do not bend. That is a nice crease down the middle. Okay. Seriously, do not bend and it's bent. I'll leave the letter in our apartment. It's not even like it has to go in a slot. Oh, I have no mail. Oh, That sucks. I, you, you gotta go do your mail and you have no mail. You waste your time. Nice to actually have some stuff. Hold on. Where's the plant? Oh. Where is the plant? Oh. Oh, that's where you are. This is starting to freak me out. I'm gonna call Mrs. Olsen. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Olsen? I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. What was that in the background? Just one plant disappeared. Everything else is fine. I, w I would be upset. I mean, someone else was in her apartment. Yes. Well, what are the caddy? It's here. It literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. Yeah, I'm not crazy, am I? No. <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. Wait. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work? No, no. That's definitely from my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to go water them. Bye. Okay. Okay. Something weird going on here. Do you know anything? Is there anything I should know? Okay. Well, oh, turn the light on. Okay. Let's go feed the cat. I'm gonna feed kitty. Very cute cat. Okay. Ooh. Are you hungry? Okay. There you go. Nice can of meow food. Done. I'm like slightly to go to my bed. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I could see that. Yeah. Weird day. You know. Oh, 
What did I say about my trash? No. Okay. Just checking. Should check my room before I close my door. We had a missing plant. That's weird. And Mrs. Olsen didn't seem to care. I'm wondering what is waiting for me in the mailbox today. How about a whole lot of nothing? Oh, wow. I'm right. Oh, we got a business card? A new bank? Maybe I could put my money there. That's not usually how that works. Amazing interest up to 0.03%. All right. Square 38 Bank is now serving the community. Fine, let's go to her apartment. Okay. I've never changed my bank because I got a thing in the mail like that. I heard something. I don't know if it was loud enough for you guys, but I heard something. My cat's here, plants here, here. Okay. It was my imagination. Oh, I didn't realize I could look out the window. Oh, I can open the window. So weird. Why can't I open the windows? Okay. Interesting. Okay, one more to go. So weird. I like it. I mean, it's, it's nice having things you can interact with the environment. Kitty is sure hungry. All right. <clears throat> All right, kitty, come and get your your uh, lovely, lovely food. Uh, you must have lost your bowl somewhere. Huh. Whatever, I hope Mrs. Olsen wouldn't be angry if I leave the food on the floor. All right, I guess we just... Do we dump the can on the floor or are we leaving the can on the floor? Just, okay. I'm tired. Finally, I can go to sleep. Okay. This is weird. Anybody here? No? Hey, I don't got a junk closet. This is also the cool stuff. All right. My debit card from the Square 8 bank arrived today. I'm very excited. That was Square 38. Oh. What the heck? Kitty's bowl? How did it end up here? All right. All right. Square 38, that's what I thought. I was really looking forward to this moment. My first debit card. Really? Cool. Good for you for growing up. Let's go to our farm. Oh, oh. What the fuck was that disgustingly loud sound? Me screaming? I don't know. Fuck. Screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's apartment now, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And you are definitely from the, the Whitmore Library game. Yes, that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. That wasn't me. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. I saw you. I was coming back from the pub. 
You were waving at me from the window. I don't think so. Uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. <laughs> Drunk loser making shit up again. Okay. There's a bowl again. All right, two plants. I guess everything's normal. Probably explains why the car is parked mostly on the sidewalk. That's probably Jerry's car. Or Whitmore's car down there. I wonder if I, if I eventually see something out of window. Seeing kitty eating is the cutest part of the day. I can't wait. I don't know. It's kind of wet food is rather nasty when you watch them eat, slurping and slapping. Not my kind of a uh, fun. Let's get some sleep. There you go. I just stepped on. That's fine. Tough old cat. so good. Do we actually have to do this a full seven times? I wasn't counting. What day are we on? Finally home. Today's my last... Oh. <laughs> Honestly, my last day of taking care of Olsen's farm. Alright. Happy Paul's Pet Club. Some letter, I'll leave it in her apartment. Sudden collapse. Oh, great. The Square 38 bank shuts down just two days after opening. All my money's gone. Just two days after its much anticipated grand opening, Square 3 Day Bank has announced its sudden and unexpected closure, sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong. The collapse unfolds. Reports of trouble at Square 3 Day Bank 38 Bank began to service yesterday afternoon. Customers experienced issues accessing their accounts and conducting transactions leading to mounting anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirmed the worst. The bank's dismal start with only four clients in the first two days had forced them to shut down operations immediately. Customers experienced issues accessing their accounts. There were four people. Anyway, impact on customers. Four individuals who did, did open accounts with Square 38, the sudden closure has resulted in significant uncertainty. This is a devastating blow, said one of the affected account holders, who prefer to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds, and now we're left wondering if we'll ever get our money back. Are you kidding me? My debit card arrived yesterday. I right, said, so who are you? You're in part one. Hale. Hale Whitmore. Plants. Oh. Wall's still there. Okay, cool. Put in the bathroom. We are alone. Good. Where's the cat? Okay, cat's there. Anything weird? No? Okay. Hey, can I get the cat wet? Can I do that? No? Okay. Give a shot. Well, tell me you wouldn't try. Oh, the backyard. All right, this is a very relaxing game besides that one jump scare from Whitmore down there. Let's go feed Kitty for the last time. Okay. 
Alright. There you go. There you go, kitty. Your gruel. Done. I'm good to go. Good night, kitty. Yeah, good night. Alright, let's go to bed. Wonder what could potentially not kill us in the middle of the night. I think Mrs. Olsen's gonna come and strangle us at all we sleep. You read my mail, didn't you? Alright. Mrs. Olsen should be home by now. I'm going to return her the keys. How does she get in if she gave me the keys? I can't check her mail anymore. Mrs. Olsen, I have your keys. Hi, Mrs. Olsen. It's good to see you again. You're not oh! Oh. Nine one one. What's your emergency? There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor, and now they're fighting. It's my apartment. Mine. Get out. Everybody out. Foreign man? So the crazy man broke into the apartment. After the incident, the police found two lifeless bodies. I got away. One was of a 24-year-old man, and the other was a 68-year-old woman. I couldn't take out a 65-year-old man. The previous owner of the apartment number two, Harold Whitmore, escaped from the scene. Police never found him. I thought we were the first floor neighbor. Did I read his name wrong? Her apartment. Uh, yeah, okay. So, that was weird. I could have sworn the, guy, the first guy on the first floor was Hale Whitmore. <laughs> anyway, maybe I just read his name wrong. But anyway, that was her apartment. If you want to check it out yourself, it'll be down in the description. Um, give some support to the developer. He has other games, apparently. Um, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And if you can, leave a like and a subscribe would be great. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.